Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will be giving you the complete and effective preparation strategy for the Adobe India Hackathon 2025, especially focusing on round one and which includes both MCQs and one coding problem. So whether you are applying it for the first time or you want to level up your preparation and this video is going to be your one stop guide and with the topics, resources, the tips and some practice questions. Let's get into this video. Uh, but before that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now and also join our WhatsApp and Telegram groups where I'm sharing all the updates on internships and job opportunities for all the batches. And also follow us on LinkedIn and Instagram. When we talk about the round one, the round one will consist of 15 MCQs uh, and one coding question. These MCQs and coding question are based on the data structures and algorithms and also CS fundamentals. See, already they mentioned that uh, this is based on the algorithms and DSA concepts. So uh, till four days are left for the registration. Uh, if you haven't registered, register now. All the links I have provided in the description. And the round one will be on the 11th July from 12 to 8 p.m. So duration for this round one is one hour, nothing but the 60 minutes. So 15 MCQs and one question. So the right strategy is to be strong in the both conceptual MCQs and the coding problem solving under the time pressure. And you can, uh, I prepared the document uh, where it consists of all the MCQ preparation strategy and also for the coding questions. Uh, I provided all the resources here. Uh, do check it out. Uh, in the MCQ round preparation, which consists of the DSA and some computer science fundamentals, uh, the most important topics you need to cover are time, time and space complexity and the sorting and searching techniques. Uh, and next, uh, hashing and the hash maps, uh, recursion and the backtracking, stacks, queues, linked lists, trees, comes as the uh, binary search tree, bi uh, binary tree traversals and heaps. Next, graphs as BFS and the DFS. Next, dynamic programming, bit manipulation and the greedy algorithms. So these are the topics you need to cover in the MCQ round. And also, I will tell you some way of asking the MCQs. First is based on the programming. Next is a pseudocode. And also the error detection code will be given. You need to find out the error and output based questions like a pro code will be given and you need to find out the output of the code. Either the code can be in Java, Python, C or the C++ and some missing statements. So complete program will not be given. Just like uh, for example, one or two lines will be missing. So you need to uh, uh, select the option which suits the code and output also will be given. So practice these MCQs from the interview bit uh, gigs for gigs and uh, science foundry all the links i provided here i sorted in a manner for the dsc and for algorithms and also i'm including the document uh, which was uh, which was a previous year questions of walmart coders uh, these questions also will help you to practice more uh, and also the just pay mcqs all these answer key also available just practice those questions and moving on to the part two which is the coding round preparation so in the coding round preparation the important DSA topics for coding are arrays and uh, strings, recursion and backtracking, uh, binary search, and next trees, graphs, and the dynamic programming. All these are very important. Uh, as this hackathon was not conducted previous years, but I took this concept from the uh, hackathons which are conducted by Adobe, like Gensol and other on campus and off campus hackathons. So these are the most important topics and in many of the hackathons and coding challenges, uh, these questions were asked. So all these questions are typically based on real world problem solving using the code DSA. And these are the important topics. Next, uh, you can practice these resources uh, by the links uh, I provided here. Uh, lead code DSA sheet by the love bubble and this uh, Stivus SD sheet uh, interview bit uh, and these links are provided here. Some of the coding questions were asked in the interviews connected by the Adobe or uh, those coding questions also I provided here. Do check it out once. And 
so keep solving this at least one coding problem per day uh, from these platforms so try solving it in the 60 minute time bound format uh, which simulates the actual exam environment and uh, in the 60 minutes you can take the 20 minutes like for mcq and the remaining time for the coding question uh, so try to attempt as soon as uh, as early as possible and also it is a team uh, team participation will be there like to do three members so make sure that all your team members are uh, scoring well because the average score of each uh, uh, individual persons in the team will be considered as the final score so i have compiled all this uh, like uh, some mcqs and the coding questions uh, you can see here i took these from the lead code so which was the tag by the adobe uh, you can practice these questions uh, nearly like uh, 150 questions are there so practice these questions these are more than enough uh, still like three four three to four days of time is there you can practice more and uh, this is a very good opportunity for everyone and some of the sample questions in the document are like uh, guess the word which is using by the string manipulation and the maximum profit in the stock trading next devil groups or the vowel encryption subarray problems and many other real-time DSA questions are there. So all these I included here. You can check it out this. And these are the very perfect for the practicing before the actual challenge. So this includes some pattern based problems also and logic building and some other tricky edge cases. So all these uh, we have included in this video and you can find this link in the description. Do check it out and I would give some final tips to crack the adobe hackathon round one so first is to stay consistent solve the mcqs and the coding problems daily and revise the core concepts regularly like especially uh, recursion or the sorting searching and the time and space complexities and also focus more on the logical building and other edge cases handling so uh, don't panic if the question or the coding question seems hard so try to pass some test cases optimize uh, it gradually and submit even partial solutions uh, in on stop uh, basically 10 test cases will be there 10 private test cases and 10 public test cases uh, so you need to pass all of them so all the best for your hackathon if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section and if you found this video helpful, uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Learn with Anu. And also join in our WhatsApp and Telegram groups uh, where I'm sharing regular internships and job opportunities for all the batches. Thank you.